Hey guys, Majeffries here and welcome back to FMTB and we are at the start of the brand new season um, and we're actually going to start by having a look at the team of last season this is the best 11 according to our fans so we have Gune in goal, Kujabi, Ngoi, Johnson and Cadmore Deering, Spiller, Irvine, Kissuk, Mills and Tunkara and then a subs bench of Atkins, Lorraine, Abdullah, Odebade, Robinson, Driver, and Ungesson. Now the good news for us is, in fact, I'll leave the good news for now. Let's have a look at this. So we start the season with a trip to Kidderminster. Our first home game is against Wickham, recently relegated Wickham. That's a surprise, considering how well Wickham are doing in real life at the moment. Um, Boxing Day, we're against Woking. And our last game is against Forest Green. Now, if you know what I was saying about Forest Green a couple of episodes ago, you'll know why I'm not very happy about that. But there you go. <clears throat> We've been given £5,000 for TV rights, which is cool. means we might actually be on TV. Um, right. Season expectations. They want us to achieve a respectable league position. So we have... I think the top half finish is probably the best one to go for gives us three thousand pounds almost in wage budget to play around with and a transfer budget which is also cool so I will go for that steamish players available on loan um, there aren't really any standouts there for me no I think we'll pass on those um, Bickers reports on training that's fine I'll ignore that for now now here's a problem Paul Hilton keeps rejecting contract offers and he's my assistant manager so really we need to keep him on side but at the moment that he's just not interested so I don't really know what to do with that um, pre-season friendlies Derby under 21s are playing against us Bournemouth under 21s are playing against us um, these are all under 21s friendlies not that interested in those okay let's have a look at the squad shall we and see who we've actually managed to bring in during this window well first one I want to bring attention to is this guy here, Tyler Redding. Now he is one of the players we've got on loan from Steamish for the season. Goalkeeper, uh, 18 years old, good ratings, good potential. Um, I'd say he'll be our second or third choice keeper. Uh, next up we have this guy down here, Alex Smith. Now he is to be the replacement for Kujabi. Um, hopefully we can get him in for the, the whole season, if not most of the season. Good young left back, formerly of Fulham. I believe he was at Arsenal before that. Actually spent some time on loan at Steamage a couple of years ago. Joined Steamage on a free transfer. Um, this is in the game now. He Genuinely in real life he was on loan at Steamage. Didn't actually play any matches for us. Um, on the game, he joined them on a free transfer at the start of last season. Which is how I've managed to sign him on loan from Steamage for the season. <clears throat> We've also signed Joe and Gesson on loan again for the season uh, so I look forward to having him in the team Mark Irvine has joined us again for the next uh, 12 months and so has Farhad uh, Rakarambwe one day I will learn to pronounce his name properly now unfortunately I couldn't get um, Ryan Johnson to join us again Steamage weren't willing to loan him out and he was himself wasn't willing to join us on loan anymore I think he's got a bit too big for his boots, but you know we'll, we'll work with that. Um, we have, however, got Connor Calcutt on loan again for the season, plus with Tunkara up front and players like Mills, who can also play up front, and Reese Connolly, who made a couple of appearances for us last season and did do well. So we're not completely down and out. I'm not sure about bringing Yemi back, if I'm honest. He really did slip towards the end of last season. I think that's his age getting the best of him. Um, I have taken a look at the list of players who might be available to us and I'm not that impressed in all honesty I'm not that impressed I think there's better options out there than this these are just players whose contracts ex expire if I open the search up a little bit more you see you've got some other players here but again I'm not I'm not that impressed Connor As Essam maybe Charlie Allen again maybe they're well out of our budget in terms of transfer fees though Alex Wall maybe there's a lot of maybes not too many definitely's 
I don't want to waste money on a player who's not going to be any good for us in the end. Um, I want to make sure I get it right. Because we do have a very limited budget to work with. This guy here, I used to have play for my Portsmouth team. He's not too bad. We to a kill. We tell a kill. I need to learn to pronounce people's names properly. Uh, available on free transfer. Ambitious group of players. You'll fit in well. Full understanding of the language. Fair amount of pace. Can play in positions. Fair amount of positions. Fairly poor in the air. Um, let's see if I can give him a trial. Till the end of preseason. That's something else we can do now. Is if we open this up again and do expired. Okay, there's no one there. That's the annoying thing now is how do we open this search up without doing too much? How many scouts am I allowed now? Two. So I've actually exceeded that one. I still need an under 21s and an under 18s manager. What happened to those? Apparently the uh, the adverts were still running, just no one was applying for them. Let's uh, restart the search. So yeah, we need to, to open up the search a little bit more as to who can join us. Um, I would like to strengthen the squad ahead of the season. We did run out of players towards the end. Uh, we had injuries, suspensions, poor form, lack of match fitness. Uh, we got some players leaving us soon, you can see here. Cadmore's leaving, oh goodness, I might have to sign him up again. Uh, Kujabi's leaving, Lorraine's leaving, Hills is leaving, Sankofa's leaving, Odebade's leaving. We have got one player on the way in, I uh, will show you that in a very short second. Because I'm very, very happy that we managed to bring this guy in. Providing he's as good as I assume he is, then uh, we'll have a very, very good time. And it will definitely help us beef up our attack. Let's have a quick look at um, Portsmouth. See if they've got any players we can loan in. Alright. We can get um, Mutau... Oh, can't say it. Mutau Akil in on loan. Whitehawk board have provided a cash injection. Right, who are we bringing in? That's who you want to know. Antonio German. Young striker, currently on loan at Forest Green. Um, scored 12 goals in 26 games for Forest Green. Has started this season on loan there as well, but I think his contract at Gillingham expires, in which case he will join us. Uh, I'm looking forward to having him join us, actually. He's apparently our, one of our best-rated strikers. Just ahead of Tunkara. Why is Barnes Homer still on our list when he left us? I've no idea. Our scout wants us to sign him, whatever the price. So that's a good sign. Uh, 12 areas yet to assess. That's not a good sign. But back to his stats. He's got a fairly average amount of stats. Um, so yeah, ho hopefully hopefully he'll be a good signing for us. Otherwise, I'm sure we'll be able to sell him for some amount of money. Um, back to scouting. I really do want this to open up. I tried looking to see who was listed for loan. And these are the only two that came up. You put it in for transfer, and it only goes up by two. So I'm a bit disappointed about that. So it really does depend if any names get added to this list via our scouting. What assignments have we even got right now? Um, assignments, there we go. So yeah, Paul Lowe, he hasn't actually found any decent players for us. Not on this list anyway. This is supposed to be very very urgent and yet nothing. Absolutely nothing. Which I'm very very disappointed about. I'm not really sure why they haven't found any or even bothered looking. It just says preparing. I set this up ages ago. <sighs> I might go to the board actually, and ask them if I can increase the number of scouts. Because I think we, we're going to need that anyway. We're going to need a new assistant manager, because it looks like Paul Hilton isn't going to sign up for another season. Um, and we, we need to improve our scouts. Either bring in more scouts, or 
um, reassess the scouts that we currently have and see if they're still worth keeping on or whether we should consider replacing them. I also need to sign up. Actually, I think it's too late for that now. What Portsmouth players? None. No good players. Christian Oxlade Chamberlain, though. I wonder who he's related to. Right, Odebade's loan is finished and he's now a free agent. Let's see if I could bring him in on trial. Pre season, at least. Keep an eye on him. You never know. Um, German loan finishes because he's joining us. Whitehawk released five players. I'm going to bring Cabmore in on trial. Hopefully he'll be interested in joining on trial. Uh, and to be honest, I wanted to keep Kujabi. And I am disappointed that he's leaving. But at the same time, he did sort of give up on us halfway through the season. So I'll bring him in on trial. I'm not going to splash out money trying to keep him. Uh, Lee Hills, same thing. Bring him in on trial. That's one thing I do like about pre-season is you can bring in people on trial. Right. Sa oh, have Steve has been relegated or something? Oh, they have. Sam Besant, Chris Day, Chris Beardsley, Simon Walton, John Ashton, Calvin Zola, Andy Bond, Dean Wells, Rory Deacon, George Allen, Rodell Gordon, Chris Welpdale, Jerome Akimo have all left Stevenage. Ben Kennedy, Ross Millard, George Casey, Jack Jones and Edward Jackson have also left. I'm going to have a look at um, Akimo, Besant... Uh, Walton. This is what I call a turkey shoot. There's so many good players on this list that we could actually try and bring in. It's worth having a look because you never know. All it takes is one of these players to be interested and then another one might be interested and another one and another one and it, it becomes like a snowball effect. Jason Goodliffe as well is available. Um, he's not interested. I doubt any of these guys will be interested, but you never know. Uh, yeah, Kennedy's not really good enough. I don't think Millard is either, to be honest. Um, Casey? Do I have any? Yeah. Uh, trial. Bring him in on trial. We can always chuck him in the under-18s if he's not good enough. Jack Jones. Again, I mean, he's a right-back, so he'd be good cover for right-back. But again, bring him in on trial first. See how he gets on. Edward Jackson. Now, in real life, Ed Jackson's quite good. On here, it doesn't seem to reflect. That's a bit disappointing as well. That is disappointing. Right, Felicitas has turned down latest contract offer at Hereford, but he's not interested in joining us, so no skin off my nose. Hilton, still not interested. And... Right. Contract F uh, offer rejected. When does his contract expire? Must be now. Approach to sign. See, he's interested in signing. He's interested in signing for us. So we'll bring him in. He could be a decent right back for us. And the one last thing I wanted to do in this episode is finance, professional status. They can't afford to turn pro. Wow. In that case, they probably can't afford for me to hire in more scouts. Yep, they can't afford it. Um... Now, I, I would rather we had a new parent club, but then we lose in Gesson and Smith and Reading, and I don't want to risk that. Um, so I'm going to have to leave that as it is for now. Okay, guys, this has been a pretty long episode, actually. I think I've waffled on for a very, very long time. Um, I'm going to carry on trying to sign new players, trying to see if we can bring in some loans, if we can bring in some free agents if we can bring in an under-21s manager and an under-18s manager, because I think that's going to be important as well. Maybe reevaluate our coaching staff, try and bring in a decent assistant manager, um, and get the team in a decent shape for the new season. I will talk you through... Got you through. 
I will talk you guys through. There we go. I will talk you guys through what I've done when we come back next time. Um, so you guys aren't sitting around while I'm umming and ahhing over it. Uh, and yeah, that's basically it. So until then, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you guys for your continued support. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed watching. And until next time, I will see you soon.